Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who I be, all that good shit, man. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this, whether religiously or in passing. I really mean that, and I really appreciate it. Every single one of the viewers that watch this content, because you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. Bucket low, like, fuck it, though. Hit your chicks, you want to go. All right, um, so Danny, right? I know a lot of y'all seen that Danny was announced to be on some madness um, last night. Uh, last I heard, he wasn't on the card. But I guess, you know, this is a, like he's like a last minute addition. Him and Shotgun Shield versus Chess. Uh, overall, I feel like the card is cool. Uh, I don't feel like Danny got a real like summer madness battle. He's in a position. It's like a consolation prize almost. You know, you didn't get a real trailer. He obviously did not do the face-offs when the face-offs happen. He'll probably get one later, but him and Fonz was already scheduled. They were supposed to battle. I'll just take you back to take you forward because I'm riding. Ride with me, man. Come on, man. Ride with me, man. Let me holler at y'all niggas for a second, man. I might have gone on vacation for a couple days anyway, so you might as well take this ride with me while you can because, you know, niggas be needing a break, man. Like, it should be a lot. You know, we be working, family. It be a lot, so, you know, it be good. But so check this out. Um, So... I feel like Summer Madness for Danny is a consolation prize. In every single battle, I'm going to break down every round that I've sketched about to, to, to let you know there's nothing slicker than the tools in the Rusty Shed House. Um, all of Danny's battles be coming with compromise. All of his big battles. He got uh, New Jersey Twerk, they battled on the basketball court. Tay Rock, they battled on a super fight. Uh, he gets known, he has to battle real sick, which is not a bad look, but it was more of a look for real sick. Okay, Danny loses. Cool. Um, and he uh, gets to know him, he battles none none Nothing wrong with none none but Danny's been battling for like 155 years. Uh, Danny should be getting the names, the reputable names. If Danny's on a Summer Madness, Danny should be on a Summer Madness versus an Iron Solomon or versus somebody like that. That shows respect to the MC. But they don't respect, you know, Danny, they don't respect you like that. Your biggest battles was, uh, you know, on other leagues. Rest in peace, Pat Stay, you know. You got that battle. That battle was on RBE. URL would never give you that, you know what I mean? Um, and it's and it's highly unfortunate because you're a super talented MC and I've been talking about you for years. Matter of fact, y'all want to know what happened? I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoke came from Danny battling three times in one week and then he fucked around and lost, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If you've been following this channel for a long enough time, you would already know. And I ain't talking fast. You're listening slow. You know what I'm saying? It's money to get. We got to talk about it. So, um, Danny. Uh, he winds up on the Summer Madness card, but more so like a consolation prize because Danny was not on Summer Madness. He told me, you know, he wasn't booked. He got a call. He probably got a call like within like the last day or so. Literally, he got a call within like the last day or so. Um, yeah, he should have had material for Fonz, but Danny backed out on Fonz once and Fonz backed out on Danny once. They were supposed to battle on Battle of the Bayou. It didn't happen there. And they were supposed to battle on another card. The shit didn't happen there. And I think they wanted them to battle on Down to the Wire. And Danny and them was like, no, nah, we're not battling on Down to the Wire. So now you have it as on, uh, we need some We need some more madness. They throw that battle in there. Uh, and, they, and and then you have that to match with Chess and Shook, who already battled. That's, they, these niggas already battled. It's a, it's a million battle rappers out here. And you get two niggas that already battled. It's like, <laughs> I guess, like... I guess. I mean, yeah, niggas is gonna watch it. People gonna watch it. People gonna still recap it and all that good shit. But uh, this is more so about Danny. So when I spoke to Danny, I told Danny he need to treat it like how Lil Baby treated the Grammys. You know, you might not. This night might be the most ideal position for you, but theoretically, you could just come up there and still do your thing. Fonz the same way. Uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with that battle. That battle, I'm sure, is gonna be fire. I'm sure they're both gonna do their thing. But it's not about how. It's about how it gets presented to you uh danny was supposed to battle y'all niggas don't remember this he was supposed to battle trez on summer madness like uh the bad one seven summer madness seven the shit where they tried to book a card just to stop arp from what he was doing and all the battles was bad and they was trying to book niggas last minute you niggas know come on now um he was supposed to battle trez on that card and he didn't do it him and trez fell out about that shit because trez felt like that was his big opportunity to get a big break he didn't get one because that Summer Madness battle didn't happen. They wound up battling on a volume. Trez is not even on URL no more. Why is he not on URL no more? Because he don't want to, you know, conform and not battle on different leagues. And, you know, all of the shit that niggas who don't give a fuck do. You know what I mean? Like, when you fall in line and you're going to listen to somebody else, what they got to do in their itinerary and shit, things, the ceiling will be high for you. But when you be like, fuck that, I'm going to battle anywhere I need to, they got to, you know, no, 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 no. We got to get you up out of here. But, you know, Trez is fire. I hope all is well with him. And, you know, we'll see him when we see him. But back to Danny. So, 
for Danny, this is not a prize, you know what I'm saying? It's not a prize to get put on Summer Madness at the last minute after a whole card was booked already and niggas been had battles. It's not a prize. Just be honest with you, it's not. Um, these guys literally have till next weekend. Like I said, they were booked before twice and the battles didn't happen, but mad shit has happened since then, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, when I know people will just think, oh, they should have rounds already. Yeah, they should, you would think, but like I said, mad shit has happened since then, you know what I mean? So you gotta switch your material, you gotta get ready, you know what I'm saying? You gotta do all type of shit in a short amount of time. And it's like, what if this battle could go one of two ways. This shit could go very good or very bad. If it goes very bad, I'm giving credit to both and I'm cutting slack for both and I'm not jumping on no blog bashing either or. You book niggas with one week, if shit don't go right, you know, it is what it is. But this is budget madness anyway. I know y'all niggas seen like Stumbles, like Stumbles literally, I just seen a post from him talking about his last battle versus Sugar's his last battle and him and Surf is falling out because Stumbles was supposed to be on Summer Madness versus Kid Slade. Stumble, no disrespect. I like what Stumbles is able to do, talented MC and shit like that, but this nigga is not supposed to be on no fucking Summer Madness. How? How? He ain't battled on no volume. He ain't battled on no known. He ain't battled against no big names. The only person he had was Shotgun Shook. You know what I'm saying? Colin Sexton in his rookie year is not being picked to start in the All-Star game. Like, I understand the drama with Snake Eyes and the, the belt and the fallout and all of that shit, but... That should not be enough because he skips over a whole lot of niggas. Danny been in the battle rap for like a hundred years and this is his first summer madness. And he been deserving of it. He been fired. He been deserving of it. But the politics and the bullshit that come behind it. You, you make gun title madness. You know what I'm saying? Gun titles is like up and down the whole fucking card. It's not, I mean, I fuck, I rock with what gun titles do and I'm going to watch the battles. I ain't going to hate on them. But you book the whole left side of the card, all gun titles. And then you was going to have stumbles versus Slade. I heard Slade is gun titles now too. That's what I heard. That's what the rumor is. Then I heard she happens was supposed to be on the card. I ain't gonna say, you know what I'm saying? That battle might still happen. So not on this card. So I ain't gonna really, you know, leak the leak. But what I will say is this, um, for Danny, this is a consolation prize. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'm sorry. Like a bucket low, like fuck it though. Oh, my bucket fitting incredible. But, uh, no, it's a consolation prize, and you should be treated as such. You should try to go in there and have best performance of the night. You should use it as motivation. You know what I'm saying? And you should bring your motherfucking A game because you don't really, I mean, to most, it won't matter how you got here. The fact that you are here is all that matters. So you're going to have to perform, and you accepted the battle in a short time. If it was me accepting the battle in that short of time, you niggas got to raise my price. But I know what they'll do. I know what they'll do. They're not going to raise your price. They, are they? Danny, are they? Hmm? They ain't niggas ain't gonna give you a dollar more. They gonna be like, oh, the budget, the budget, the budget. This whole shit is budget madness anyway. If you look up and down the car, I was looking at like Summer Madness 6, right? You had Rock versus Hollow, Grizz versus uh, Cal, Hitman versus Shine, Av versus Shotgun Shug. You know what I'm saying? Big battles, big stage, big card. How do we go from there? to stumbles getting put off the card by Sue Surf in just a couple of years. You got rookies that have not even really like, really, really, really beat no real big niggas. Like, and I, I ain't trying to hate, like I said, this nigga got a lot of success in a short amount of time. Stumbles went from, I ain't, I don't know no raps from this nigga. Like, literally, I don't know nothing from him. Who is he, what has he done to potentially being on Summer Madness in the same year? If niggas able to do that, he gotta be at least talented. But back to Danny. So Danny starts off his year by battling and beating Tayrod on a super fight. Like I said, the super fight, he's battled him and beat him though. Then he went on and had mad other battles this year. He just battled Sharon. I mean, I was trying, did he battle Sharon? I think he did. I don't know. He probably did. But he battled none none, my bad. And he battled none none. To me, he beat none none. He battled Ab. The Ab battle wasn't the craziest, but he still did it. Uh, and he's had mad other battles, you know what I'm saying? But I look at it like, damn, dog. Like, the only way you can get on some advantage is if we do you a, throw you a bone at the last minute. Like, all my other bitches didn't text back. So I throw you a text at 2 in the morning. And you, that's, you know how y'all niggas be. Y'all niggas be playing with the hoes. You know how you got your fit, your starting lineup. You hit them all up. Nobody's available. Nobody's answering. Everybody's boo-boo-boo. And then you hit up Old Faithful. A lot of you niggas got an Old Faithful. 
Jump in these comments and tell me you have an old faithful or not. Niggas will hit up old faithful, old faithful, always be ready, no matter what time it is, no matter what day it is. Nigga be like, it's a Wednesday at three o'clock, fuck it, I'ma hit old faithful up. Old faithful always gonna be around. Then they treating you like old faithful, my nigga. They are treating you like old faithful, my nigga. Sorry. And, uh, and they, the, the, blog, the bloggers that's not like tied in with niggas, they gonna call it like they call it. They see the shit from a mile away. I'm sure there's mad blogs out about this budget madness, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, I mean, it's cool. I like the battle. I wanted to see it more than once. It didn't happen, so now it is happening. Is it under the best circumstances? Absolutely not. Not when everybody else get a trailer. You don't get a trailer. I mean, the trailer that you got, I mean, I guess. It wasn't a real one. They just threw some shit together at the last minute, you know what I'm saying, just to put it out. And they didn't even put out nothing until niggas was really wilding on timelines and wilding on social media. Like, yo, how the fuck is Summer Madness next Saturday and niggas got three battles in those? They probably hit the nigga up like, yo, man, you gotta, you gotta make a trailer by three, nigga. We need a fucking trailer. And he just put some shit together. I mean, I seen it, you know. They used to put, like, the voices and shit in there. You know what I'm saying? Do they do that anymore? I don't even know if they do that. I remember I was in a couple. They probably told niggas, man, you better not put that nigga in another trailer. You better not put that nigga in another trailer or you're gonna be on fucking RBE. That's probably what they told Derez. Derez, that's what they told you? It's cool. It's all good. We gonna still recap. We gonna still get the money though, so it don't matter. But they probably told that nigga, man, that nigga better not. Now you put that nigga voice in the trailer, you gonna be motherfucking making waffles at RBE, nigga. <laughs> that's what they told that nigga. Shout out to Rez, though. I fuck with him. Um, but back to Danny. Um, yeah, bro, you 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 gotta. Uh, and this is the reason why I be saying this shit. Like you gotta take your career into your own hands because niggas is playing with your cards, right? If Chess would have said, if Rex would have said yes to Chess. That Danny and this nigga battle probably would not have even been on the card. Danny would have had to battle that nigga in fucking uh, Milwaukee or some shit like that. Shout out to Milwaukee. He'd have battled that nigga in fucking Des Moines, Iowa, or fucking Delaware or some shit. Shout out to all of them cities. But, I mean, it is what it is. I see a lot of people complaining. They say, yeah, I think the card is over. It's a good card. It ain't a bad card. Niggas is going to watch it. But do I feel like Danny getting added on some last minute? Like, you was the last nigga announced. Like, they put the shotgun sugar and chest trailer, like a little joint like that, even though niggas already battled already. But they're gonna put that shit out and then them niggas threw you under that. Under that. You didn't even get your own announcement, my nigga. They threw you under the announcement. Niggas threw you under the bus. Just saying. You know? It might not mean nothing to nobody. And some niggas will be like, oh, you should be happy he got an opportunity. Not after 50 battles, my nigga. Not after 100 battles or however many battles did he got. I'm not just happy for a fucking opportunity. 10 years later when you done battle every single new nigga every new nigga every time a nigga get new they put him in front of Danny you know all of that to get Summer Madness on some more damn we ain't got nobody else to book type shit we might as well just throw these niggas on there nope we ain't giving them nothing extra but we gonna throw them on there man get the fuck out of here you, you niggas have a great day I'm, I'm gone